So since probably New Year's Eve, you've probably heard people talking about dry January. It's getting really, really popular. Last year, Morning Consult asked adults over 21 if they were going to take part in it, which means taking a break from booze in the month of January. And like 20% of people said yes. That's up from 6% in just 2021. Well, the first weekend of January is now in the rear view. And whether you're sticking to this dry idea for a month or you've made this lifestyle change years ago, only a few can deny that the non-alcoholic scene has come a long way in recent years. And Sharon's here to fill us in on more. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Jana. So gone are the days of bars offering Welch's sparkling grape or just one kind of generic N.A. beer. Things are changing and one Minneapolis bottle shop is part of the evidence. Opening up a new business usually comes with nerves. I was uncertain as to whether or not this would be something that people wanted as much as I did. But when Aaron Flavin, the owner of Honeycomb Salon, decided to open up Marigold non-alcoholic bottle shop next door, she found out people indeed were interested in NA beverages as much as she was. It doesn't surprise me for this city because there are so many cool foodies here and so many um, people trying different things. It's like a whole new world to explore for your palate, right? Flavin says she opened Marigold actually out of need. When she decided to go alcohol free, she couldn't find good alternatives. And if she did, they weren't accessible. Things popping up on your Instagram feed where you're like, I'm, I'm curious about that. I want to try it, but I don't know if I want to pay for shipping or have this, you know, subscription or whatever it is and a lot of places weren't willing to, to start carrying things that I wanted to try, and so I decided to do it myself. <laughs> and like some folks, Flavin says the pandemic played a role in her self-reflection. It really put a mirror in front of my face as to like what my personal choices were and what my hobbies were, and drinking was definitely the top hobby that I had, especially around the pandemic. It's hard for me to stop drinking once I am, and I'm a really fun time when I drink, so or at least that's what it seemed like. And when I realized that I am still fun without it, it was pretty eye-opening. With the creation of groups like Section Yellow, a sober support group for Green Bay Packers fans, and with more and more NFL teams like the Dolphins offering sober seating sections, the tides are shifting. Flavin says she's happy to play a supporting role to it all. A lot of people coming in from like a long time of the NA, the AA world, like it can feel a little bit like some things can feel triggering, like it could be triggering to sit at a bar, it could be triggering to like shop in a store that looks like it could be a liquor store, but I wanna make that comfortable for everybody and anybody, whether you drink or not, like there should be a space for people to be able to kind of explore the different things that are out there. Marigold also carries THC and CBD seltzers. She says the staff there are always happy and they're so friendly uh, to walk things through with you because there's so many different kinds of NA beverages. It's not just O'Doul's, Heineken 0.0 or St. Pauli's Girl anymore. Yeah, and I, you know, I feel like the expectation too, and I see it more and more at restaurants, is that there will be NA beers on tap. And that is an expectation, not a favor you're doing somebody. Did she talk about bars and others? She in? did, and she was actually really excited. All these different bars are offering more than just, like I said, the O'Doul's and whatever. And they're actually putting, the, the mixologists are actually putting a lot of heart and thought into mm -hmm. what would taste good and what would be, you know, a part of the entire experience. So she says she was really happy to see that people are diversifying their beverage menus. Yeah, and it makes a lot of sense if we're going to be up, you know, in, in the forefront on the food movement, let's be in the forefront on the drink movement too. That and then nobody wants to drink just the Diet Coke anymore, you know? But Nothing against Diet Coke, but come on. All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Sharon.